it's Sarah from All Coin Bust Ladies. And it's been more than 10 months since the bear hacks has crashed the cryptocurrency market. And that's why it's refreshing to report on a blockchain project that is currently increasing in value. And ironically, it's not one of the big boys like Bitcoin or Ethereum that are suddenly doing well. It's Electronium. And for those of you who don't know, Electronium is a blockchain technology project which includes a digital asset called ETN. It's based on the idea of harnessing the power of mobility and combining it with the cryptographic technology that lies behind cryptocurrencies. And in fact, mobility is so crucial in Electronium that uses mined coins using their mobile phones instead of computers or dedicated hardware, as it happens with other mineable tokens. Mobile micropayments are also at the heart of Electronium's goals, and the project recently released its mobile payment application in a beta testing stage, which is exactly the reason why Electronium has been doing so well. And it seems to be working quite well as testers report good news from all over the world about the way the app works and delivers the service. It's as is, you know, supposed to do. And all those good news are driving the ETN's price up. Just in the last 24 hours, ETN rose 56.5% in price. And that is the thing that is definitely worth appreciating. This coin is having a bullish run in the market in which most other assets have been going steadily down since last December. The, the scenario though is completely different for all of them now as we're seeing a lot of greenery in the market. And at the time of the video, not only the token price is rising, but also the trading volume and very dramatically actually at that. So interest in ETN has risen in such a way that volume have gone up by 216%. And the rise in both price and volume has happened over two days which is a fantastic run and it came about as the app was released and the world began to notice it. ETN like most other tokens is mainly pegged to Bitcoin as means of exchange. More than four thirds of this asset trade happens on KuCoin and Cryptopia. This could represent the change of status for ETN which will up now had been a marginal crypto coin that gathered little or no interest from most people in the community. This year, for instance, it lost 85% in value from the second to the third quarter with 95% since its all-time high. But if you're interested in acquiring some ETN tokens, you don't even need to buy them. You can just install the app in your cell phone and mine them yourselves. I've been using the app for a while now and it's doing quite well to be fair. It's not using the battery life a bit too much. Obviously, how much you mine is going to depend on the phone that you have as well, but check out my other video about it. August was one of the worst months for ETN. That's when it hit its lowest historical prices, but the rest of the year has not been that good as the token's value has kept fluctuating around its lowest known values. Some bad news prompted the market behavior as the Electronium system experienced a DDoS attack, which is a distributed denial of service attack in the month that caused the project to freeze the account of users and withhold access to the funds while the team dealt with the offense. All those bad news are behind now, but the crypto market is not quick to forgive or forget this kind of an event. As Electronium released the app's beta version this week, the project's Twitter feed became flooded with good comments from both individual and institutional users attesting the product usefulness. Among all those tweets, one of the interesting ones was where an Egyptian merchant showed how to set up the app and use it to transact in the real world. Other testers in Reddit were able to transact between the US and Japan in only a few seconds, and this is very impressive, even by current fintech standards. And it's all done on mobile phones. Over here guys you guys can see the Richard Els which is the project founder and CEO had his say in a blog about the launch and he's saying easy access for users was the first step and we've now had over 1 million app installed and we're proud to say the Electronium app has the same retention level as Instagram. Electronium boasts 1.6 and increasingly everyday million users. If that's the case it's already among the most adopted cryptocurrency technologies in the world. By comparison Seamit which is the blockchain social media and content website has slightly more than a million users but it's been on the market for much longer. So all I'm trying to say guys it's not a professional financial advice in any way. All I'm trying to say is to keep an eye on Electronium and the ETN. It's showing promise and usefulness in real world terms and you'd be very hard pressed to find any other coin that went up by 30% in a single day this year. Well except Ripple.
and Stellar is actually do, re, doing really well today. But you guys, you know what I mean. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button. Let me know if you hold any ETN. Have you been using the mobile miner? Have you been better testing the uh, the micropayments? And if you guys enjoy my style, then follow me on Twitter at Alcun Sarah. Subscribe to Alcun Bus Ladies. And I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.